Greetings, friend, entrepreneur, and fellow business builder. I'm marketing master Jim Ackerman, and this is Biz Kaboom's Good, Bad, and Ugly Ads, where you get to critique an ad specimen and then find out what I think of that same specimen. Hey, a lot of times on, uh, on Good, Bad, and Ugly Ads, we feature stuff that is business to consumer kinds of marketing. Occasionally, we do a little bit of business to business uh, specimens as well, and that's what we're going to do today. I mean, let's think about this for a minute. Biz Kaboom and Good, Bad, and Ugly Ads, or our 30-second marketer tip of the day, is a business-to-business -business, uh, effort, right? What if I were to take the content and put them into a newsletter, a printed newsletter? Well, uh, might not be quite as dynamic, but the content could still come across. Well, that's exactly what uh, they have done at Hardy Press. Hardy Press sends out a newsletter every quarter. It's only eight pages. It comes with a, um, uh, a letter from George Platt, and then you see the inside, or the, the newsletter itself, is printed in full color, which becomes a, uh, an example, or a sample, if you will, of the quality of print work that's done by Hardy Press and they render value as well in the form of the content. The question is, I mean, it's a newsletter, so is it good, bad, or ugly? Do people read newsletters anymore? I'd like to know what you think of it, so here's the letter. You can take a look at that. Take as long as you want to review it. And I'm not going to show you every page of the newsletter, but I am going to show you the spread that deals with the um, headline copy on the cover, which says, what can you learn from A-B testing? Hmm? Sounds pretty good. So, here is that spread as well. Take as long as you want to examine it, and then make your determination, is this effort, a quarterly newsletter, good, bad, or ugly? Once again, this package comes out from Hardy Press on about a quarterly basis. It always includes a letter and the newsletter. And my question to you is, is this campaign effective? Well, let me give you not statistics, but history. They have been doing this for a number of years now. Why would they continue to do it? Especially a company that espouses the principles of direct response marketing things like testing and tracking, why would they continue to do it if it did not generate meaningful returns? So we have to assume going in that it's working for them at some level. The one thing I want to point out to you is that although this is primarily a printing company, the content of their newsletter had to do with testing and tracking. You see, this is a printing company that understands they're not a printing company. They're a company that's in the business of helping their customers improve their sales results through printing and other kinds of ancillary services that they can provide. And so the content doesn't talk about the wonderful things that is going on in their plant. The content talks about how principles, strategies, and tactics of marketing can help you be a better marketer, sell more product, whether you do it through print or other media. Because of the recognition of their role, not as a printer, but as a communications or a marketing communications facilitator, and because of the quality of the work and the content, the marketing master says this effort is very good. Well, I hope you agree with me, but I'd love to hear either way, whether you did or you didn't. Perhaps you don't feel like newsletters will ever get read in this day and age. So leave your comments below, share it with your friends, see if they agree with you, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Meanwhile, keep working hard to get more customers who will pay you more money more often the fastest, easiest, most cost-effective ways possible. And we'll see you next time right here on Biz Kaboom, 
and good, bad, and ugly ads.